Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at division with fractional exponents or with rational exponents. So here's a nice example. We have two terms in the numerator, one term in the denominator. So typically, you don't have to do this, but it makes sense sometimes to separate those two and write them as two fractions. So this can be written as 14 x to the 3 halves y to the 4th divided by 7 x to the 1 half y to the 2 thirds and then plus 21 x squared y to the 5 thirds divided by 7 x to the 1 half y to the 2 thirds. So notice it makes it just easier to see and easier to work with. You don't have to do that, but sometimes it just makes it cleaner and easier. All right, next we're going to take a look at each of these fractions separately. First of all, we have 14 divided by 7, which is 2. We have x to the 3 halves minus 1 half. Remember, when you divide and the bases are the same, you subtract exponents. So then have y to the 4th minus 2 thirds. Again, you subtract this exponent from that exponent. We do the same for the second fraction. So this becomes plus. 7 goes into 21 three times. Now we have x to the second power minus 1 half. Again, we subtract exponents when we're dividing, and the bases are the same. And then we have y to the 5 thirds minus 2 thirds. And now we simplify what we have left. So this is equal to 2x to the 3 halves minus 1 half, which is 2 halves. y to the 4 minus 2 thirds. Well, you can write this as 12 over 3 minus 2 over 3, because uh, 12 times, uh, 3 times 4 is 12, and then we write this plus 3 x to the, that would be 4 halves minus 1 half. So again, we rewrite the 2 so we have a common denominator, and we have y to the 5 minus 2, which is 3 thirds. All right, simplifying this a little bit more, this is equal to 2 x to the first power, and y to the 12 minus 2, which is 10 thirds, y to the 10 thirds power plus 3 x to the 4 minus 1 which is 3 halves and that would be y to the first power we don't have to write to the first power and that then becomes the final and simplified format of our original division notice that it just makes sense to first separate it as two separate fractions work each fraction separate like this subtract exponents when you're dividing then find the common denominator so we can subtract the two exponents and that is how we do that.